everyone. My name is Little P. I love elves and rainbows. Welcome to my room. Welcome to my sister's room. I love my new room. My f my favorite part is like everything. My favorite part is my bunk bed. My favorite things are the bunk bed and the sock board. Take it to walk. Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMummy.com and today I want to share with you the final reveal of Little B's bedroom makeover. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thank you so much for popping in again to say hi and to see what DIYs I am up to today. It's an exciting day for us because we get to share with you the final look of Little B's bedroom makeover. I'm going to be sharing this with my daughters with you today and we're both, we're all really excited. If you've been following along on my channel these last six weeks, you'll know that we have been working on a bedroom makeover for my youngest daughter, Little B. She will be three next week, so this is kind of a birthday present for her. When we built our home, we built four bedrooms, and we did not know that we were going to have a third baby, so this fourth bedroom, we just kind of treated it as a spare bedroom or an office, so we painted it originally kind of just like this boring medium gray. So I think really the most important part of this trend transformation and I think the thing that made the biggest difference in the room was painting the entire thing a bright white and this color is called Simply White by Benjamin Moore. One of my favorite whites because it kind of has that creamy delicate feeling. It's not really that bright of a white but it's not a creamy color. I think the next most important part of this makeover was the change of furniture. So Little B had a crib that we converted into a toddler bed, but it was still really small and the mattress was not a great quality mattress. I was excited to partner with The Brick, you can find them online at thebrick.com to work together to uh, get the furniture for this space. So I think the most amazing part of this room, furniture-wise, is this beautiful white bunk bed. Now Little B wanted a bunk bed like this for a really long time. I know she's a little bit small to be sleeping on the top, so for now she's sleeping on the bottom, and the top is for playing, or if her sisters want to have a sleepover, they can sleep up there. I think another advantage of having this bunk bed in this space is that if we want to have guests in our home, since we don't have a spare bedroom they can sleep in one of the girls bedrooms and then one of the girls can come here in little B's room and sleep on her bunk bed here <laughs> with her another cool part of this bedroom makeover is this really cool bookcase hack we found this really sweet bookcase at the brick as well and I changed it into this dress-up station for little B she loves dressing up one of her favorite things to do so I think this storage situation was really important to have in her bedroom I did a video on how I converted this bookcase. It was super simple, so I'll leave a link in the description box below or somewhere up here if you want to see that as well. Another neat part of this room was creating this really cool storage area from picture shelves or picture ledges. So picture ledges are a great thing to use in um, a toddler's room or a child's room because they're really narrow, so they don't take much wall space in the room, but you can put things like books, artwork, even stuffed animals on these picture ledges. One of my favorite parts of this room is this little art corner. I also have a video on this, so I will leave a link in the description box below. We just put a little chalkboard, a mirror, another picture ledge, and some really fun art here as well. So it's a place that little bee can color and she can uh, dress up here and look in the mirror. Another fun addition is we found this really adorable little pink tiny little chair for little bee to read here in this corner. It's also from The Brick. The girls like to call this corner the cozy corner and I just hung up a little tent from the ceiling here, piled it with pillows and other stuffed animals and things, have a little sheepskin rug in the bottom and this is a place where we can sing, this is a place where we can cuddle, this is a place where we can read together and I think it's just a really cute, adorable little space for little bee as well. On the bed, I just use really simple white comforters. I think they're great to clean that way. They make the room still feel nice and open and airy. And we have some really fun pillows on here as well to add in little pops of color. 
as well we have this really sweet little unicorn handmade stuffy that I made I'm gonna share how I made that with you in a couple weeks and it is just so cute and we had so much fun making this as well this Scandinavian inspired artwork I have throughout the space I actually found at creativemarket.com I will leave a link to that as well in the description box I think it kind of adds that modern rainbow kind of Scandi feel that we have going on in the space as well the felt banner is also handmade and I will leave a link to that tutorial in the description box below. And then I've also just added a few little interesting things on the wall with some handmade decals. They're vinyl decals. I used my Cricut machine to make these and that kind of adds a splash of pattern to the walls as well. Thank you so much for touring Little Bee's Bedroom Makeover with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of her space and what is your favorite part. I'd love to hear what your favorite part is. Please let me know in the comments below. I love to read your comments. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel to hear more DIY ideas and decor ideas. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Bye. And then say hi everyone. Hi everyone. My name is Little Bee. My name is Little Bee. Welcome to my new bedroom. Welcome to my new bedroom.